Welcome to another episode of Caribbean Discoveries, and we are here today at the Lord Best Institute. Lloyd Best Institute. The Lloyd Best Institute of the Caribbean, and we are here with one of the artists in an exhibition called The Art of Mobia, Mr. Makemba Kunle. Makemba Kunle. So, could you tell us a little bit about this expedition that you all have here today? Well, it's, really, it's really part of a, of a tribute that the Lloyd Best Institute is having. Uh, tribute to Shadow okay. and Leroy. Shadow, the late Shadow, yeah. and Leroy Clark, um, the master artist. And um, so the exhibition is called the Art of Obia, because Shadow was one who was, um, they call the Obia man, Calypsonia, <laughs> and Leroy insists that his painting is Obia also. So it's very Shadow and Leroy. And um, Leroy himself insisted that I be part of the exhibition, and uh, because he thinks that my art is Obia also, although I don't call it that. Okay. And uh, so he, that's why I'm, I'm here in the exhibition. Okay, but they, Leroy. but they say Obia is usually bad things. Is that true, or, or could we look at well, it from it, a different point of view? I think we can look at it from a different point of view. Obia, in the, in, Obia as I understand it, is um, um, finding ways, finding ways to to get a result outside of the everyday methods or what we might call the uh, scientific methods that we use. It's a kind of using magic, using prayers, using incantations, using rituals. So. In, with, the, with, with the African magic, uh, we call it phobia. Um, the, the Hindus would have a puja and have other ways of, of, of talking to the, to the metaphysical world. Um, the Christians would light candles, would say prayers, would have other rituals, um, which um, might also be termed Catholic Obia or Christian Obia and so on. So it's, um, but we, we have Obia down as black magic and, uh, and maybe because it's what black people practice and in the old days everything black was bad. True, true, true. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so can you mm -hmm. show us a little bit of the paintings that you have yes. on display? Uh -huh. Okay. Let's look at, at Leroy's, Leroy Clark's paintings. Um, this one, for instance, it's entitled Getting Ready. That is Getting Ready. Um, as, as you can see, Leroy uses a lot of mask, mask skin in his, in his paintings. Um, it is cryptic. Um, this one, this one particularly dark, and this is one of the more the ones that people would more see as Obia, seeing these these uh, spirit-like forms coming out from from in the dark, from in the dark areas. Um, a lot of a lot of them are from from different collections, some from Lavantil here, there and everywhere, some from rituals, um, because he has been, he has been painting uh, over 50 years, over 50 years now, he's, he's 80 years now, and um, one of the more recognized artists in the Caribbean. About this one, you know about it? Generally, um, generally with with, with the red glass paintings, he doesn't follow um, the rules of Western art so much, except that he's, he's still painting in, in the squares and rectangles to be put on walls. But outside of that, he makes his own he makes his own rules, and uh, he paints. But to have an effect on the viewer. That's why some people would just um, they love his work 
and some people would just hate it, um, hate it when they see it, or, or they would feel a, feel some kind of difference. He wants to he wants um, to have to make that disturbance in people, and um, and he would use all kind of different um, contrasts, and lines, and. and uh, and distortion, distortion, dis, distortion of forms um, to get his to get his effects. In some cases, it's very abstract. In other cases, you will find recognizable forms. This is a very abstract section. So all of this is his work as well? All this, yes, this whole side is his. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So are these paintings up for sale? Yes. They are for sale. They are for sale? Yes. Oh, okay. This one is... Yes. I keep up dreams. Your uh, class is also known for its very large, very large paintings. The house, big ideas. <laughs> okay, what's this one about? <laughs> this one is it just look like splashes of paints. <laughs> yes, this is this is my painting. Oh, this is it's, your painting. It's not, not splashes at all. It's um, just using a brush and and doing some very very fine work. So it's called the message, and I suppose one has one one will have to be able to decipher all the little dots and dashes and symbols in it in order to interpret the message. <laughs> So it's a puzzle painting. Very much so. <laughs> Very much so. In the, in the center here, uh, this is one of the first paintings I ever did. It's since in 1972 or 1973. That's a painting of Beverly Jones, who was killed by the flying squad in the, in the days when there, there were guerrillas in the hills of Trinidad. You know about that? Heard about it. Yes. These were people um, who were influenced by the Black Power movement of the 70s and who decided to take the, to take the revolution a step forward and they took up guns. And uh, a lot of them were killed. And Beverly Jones was one of them. She was 17 years old. She was killed in the, in the Cora Hills of, uh, of Trinidad here. And, uh, she became a, a sort of a hero, a, a heroine and martyr among the those who were um, in the revolutionary movement at the time. So all of the, uh, these others are just like the other one puzzles? Um, yes, but um, one has to stop and look and they might see images coming up. For instance, in this one, in this one, if you, you look carefully, if you, you might see a figure, a figure on the move. Yes, I'm seeing it actually. Yes. And he's, he's holding a, a, a staff in his hand. Because I'm seeing a figure somewhere here. Yes, that's right. Staff in his hand with a light, yeah. with a light, and um, under his arm he carries a book. Yes, on yes. yes. carrying a book. He's one. It's called mission. Mission. Yes, he's the man on the mission. He's going into. He has a message to deliver, and he's going into all areas, every nook and cranny, to deliver his message. So what inspires you to create this? Everyday life. Everyday life and people and uh, things that are happening around me. Yes. Mm -hmm. How often do you do? Every single day as a rule. And if not any day, every night. Yes. And that's 
see a painting of uh, something on the outside. What's that? Yes, um, it's a mural project uh, that, we're, that we're having here at the Lloyd Institute um, um, to um, encourage to encourage the idea of mural painting and to give some young people um, some training in mural painting. Uh, it's, it will go on for, for the next few weeks. Okay. Yes. We definitely have to check that out on the outside. I might be able to pull a brush outside. Ah, uh, yes. Good, ah, good. We're going to paint this <laughs> now. <laughs> this one, you could explain this one to me? Yeah, this one, the simple one called Limbo. Again, we have to look. Ah, now I've seen it. Yes. That is the answer. Yeah. And all, 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 and all, 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 almost looking as if she's somebody um, mixing a potion or doing some kind yeah. of magic. Yeah, she's really fire dance. And you should have that. You should have this. And you should have that. Yeah, see, this one has an image in it. It's too hard to see. It's called the dancer. I'm seeing something here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. am I wrong? No, if there's something here. But the image you're talking about is this here. You know you can box, you jump in those mouth chin. Oh no I'm seeing it. I'm not seeing it. Got the mouth here. Yes. The those here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And now see it with a face. Yeah, looking looking so. Yeah. Mm. yeah so some some artists um, paint that and the images confront you. But with, with my painting, you have to go inside to see it. This is Roy Clark. This one is from his exhibition called I T. I T. Yes, we have black and white exhibition, which was a very tremendous show, which traveled also the Haiti. So, folks, we are about to paint. I put on a painting jersey. What we do when we have people, um, it started last week, and we had quite a few people who are yeah, just let them do their own thing on it to make a foundation for the girl. So we're continuing the foundation now with some um, marking off some spaces. So, like a marker space. If you should I ask you now to come you and paint inside of these spaces. You should do what you could do. You could have said, Woman, told the Lord from in front. I can't put the other day. You can start. Yes, I want to see the spot. Should I want? Billowing. Yes, this is Keith Billowing. He will explain to you what to show. Alright, no problem. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Keys. Yeah. So are you ready? I'm ready. I'm sure you're ready. I'm ready. ready. <laughs> I know she wants to be. I'm there plenty too, but she can't stand up like me. Give me a spot down there to paint. Yeah. What color you What What color to use in this spot? What color you can? I want to be blue. I want to be blue. All right. I want to be blue. I want to be blue. I should that is. I should that. If I could, I would have. I would have. And if I would have. I should that. I would have. 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 I Senior Da Vinci Caribbean Discovery. So, folks, this is my masterpiece. <laughs> so, we'll pass back in a couple of weeks just to see when it's complete. And you'll see where my piece fits into the bigger detail. That's right. <laughs> Thank you so much. I look forward to coming in a few weeks to see this completed. Yes, yes. And yeah. the other windows besides yours. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so far. 
Yeah, okay, man. Now we see you. All right. Yeah, keep good. So, until the next time and next episode, Caribbean Discoveries, peace out.